sustainable search. Hi, lovely human beings. For quite a while now, I've been working part-time to be able to invest more time in myself. I want to fully live now and have time to develop my passions and aspirations. I am someone who never gets bored. I have so many ideas that I want to implement that there is always a shortage of time. In my leisure time, at the moment, I make a lot of ceramics. Let me show you how that process works. I weigh 350 grams of clay for one cup. I saw many nice examples on Pinterest with breasts on a cup. I was inspired to do my own thing with it. I call them my tit cups. Slowly, I start to form the cup. This process may take a while until you have calmly found the right shape. For me, making ceramics is the perfect combination of grounding through working with the clay and your hands, calming through the slow process that requires patience and creativity. The touch and feel with the product as you make it awakens all your senses. Well, Maybe not taste. That will come afterwards when you drink tea from your cup. When the cup is formed, the irregularities at the top edge can be cut off. My teacher taught us how to recycle the unused clay. Before that, I just threw away all the unused pieces. Over time, this will give me a completely new cup. This mush that we call barbutina here in Spain is currently also forming the glue that will stick the separate add-on pieces to my cup. Just soften the edges. If there's one thing I can't stand, it's drinking from a thick rimmed coffee cup. And this will air dry for half an hour. Now starts my favorite process. Scrape off the imperfections until the final model appears. Don't forget to sign with the S for sustainable Sarche. It's a handmade product. No cup is the same. They each have their own personality. And that's what I love so much. Make the inside as smooth as possible. And then we can start putting the breasts on it. I roll simple balls and carve the grooves on both surfaces to stick them together with the barbutina as glue. And press well. I never measure the amount of clay for the breasts. Real life breasts are rarely identical, so I wouldn't want to pretend otherwise in my cups. I also try to include all types of breasts in my range. Small and pronged, big and drooping, small and drooping, an amputated breast, wide, thin, low, high, life as it is. Imperfection is perfection.
As soon as the nipples are put on, it looks totally awesome. A big difference. Very nice to see the end result coming together. I noticed that my personal state of being influences my creation very much. Like when you drive a car when you are emotional and much more assertive behind the wheel. With the clay I figured my energy should not be too intense. It's brittle and fragile work. I always put on classical music or healing frequencies and hope that the matter of the clay will absorb these frequencies. It's like making food when you're angry. It's not a good idea because the food will carry that anger and thus later on your body will carry that emotion. And then it remains for me to clean the irregularities. I let the cup dry for a few hours until it's ready for the next step. Make the top edge as even as possible. First with the sandpaper and then finish nicely with a knife. And then I'm going to clean the last imperfections with a sponge. After this, it will go into the oven, get a layer of glaze, go into the oven a second time, and the end result will look a lot like this. Thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Take care.